we decided to explore a new-to-us destination in the San Juan Islands, Jones Island. We learned a lot about Emerson's capabilities on this two-night cruise. Emerson has been plugged into shore power, which helped our hot water supply and fully charged the batteries. Testing of a new gadget added to our holding tank. Everything else is unchanged from the last cruise. This is our most northerly route into the San Juans. We like to mix things up and in particular like this path when winds are from the south. But for today, the wind was almost non-existent. Two half days of cruising, two nights on a mooring ball, and a full day of exploration. For longer stretches at the helm, we take turns. We stand. We sit. Emerson's seats are not the most comfortable, but fortunately, this is a condition with an easy fix. Here is one reason why we like slow boating. And here is another. We started our stay with a calm and beautiful evening on a mooring ball in the northern bay of Jones Island. The night was calm and we slept well. We used several electrical consumers overnight without limiting ourselves and were encouraged by the state of our batteries. We continued along these lines into the morning with some heavy inverter use. We spent much of the day exploring and hiking, and we recommend that you check it out.
weren't that interested in birding, but now we are. We'll get some sort of San Juan bird guide. I know what bird this is, though. Only 27 hours after our arrival, we found the water barely warm enough for showers. This could be a problem for longer cruises. Oh, it would be. As Predict Wind had forecasted, the winds turned during the night to come from the north. Instead of moving, we decided to pack it up. Our water was just warm enough to not be called cold. Our ambient temperature was only in the low 40s, and I'm sure that it had something to do with our desire for warmer water. And as you can see, this was not a great weekend for solar power to help our battery bank out. Bulk charging of AGM batteries uses high current charging to about 80%. From 80 to 100%, the absorption charge uses a gradually declining charge current, resulting in a partially charged battery at our next destination. We envision staying two or three days on anchor, moving a couple of hours, and then spending more time on anchor. In this scenario, we might have a power issue. This was my number one reason to upgrade our motorhome to lithium batteries, but we have some other ideas as well. We shall see. Our hot water heater only needed an hour of engine heat to get back to 100%, but our five-hour cruise home only brought the batteries up to 90%. Some more liberal testing of our new raw waterhead feature filled up our holding tank even more. Time to pump out. Our home state of Washington uses part of our boat taxes and fees to support pump out stations that are otherwise free to use. We are grateful to find these pump outs almost anywhere in our US cruising area. In summary, we see some issues, but we also have some ideas to address them. We certainly do. Thank, Thank you, you for, for joining, joining us. us.